Hi. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. You too. Oh my God, this car is old and dingy. It's stink in here and I'm cold. How do you get around in this thing? Jesus. Where are we going? Did you make reservations? Yeah, I I'm reservations. vegan. I can't just eat anything. You know what I mean? I'm gluten free. I got a lot to watch my figure here with. Oh, this is the restaurant oh, this right is here. It? Okay, you're going to change? You got to put a different jacket on. Let's go. Come on. Hurry up. Get well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so kind. You already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so Iowa caucuses happened a few days ago. And um, we already predicted that Donald Trump was going to win. The polls had him heavily favored, I think like 30, 32 points. And he won by 32 points, right? The biggest surprise there was Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis came in second <laughs> place and squeezed out Nikki Haley. You know, Nikki Haley is the darling of the establishment. So they was cheering for Nikki Haley to come in second. And she came in third. So uh um now that Nikki Haley's going to New Hampshire, she's going in limping in. And not only that, she have a sex scandal on her plate. Wow. This is the old news. This is when she was a uh, governor of South Carolina. When her husband was deployed, she allegedly stepped out on her husband. Oh. And okay, now we know that we're in America and believe all women. And of course, she is as pure as a driven snow. Of course, Nikki Haley wouldn't do that, right? She wouldn't step out on her husband that's on deployment mm -mm, she wouldn't do that in america you cannot question any woman about her past her body count and her her loyalty you can't do that in america no. so we have to believe nikki haley right so she don't want to answer no questions she kick out all the reporters who even mention anything about her infidelity allegedly and she did not just sleep with one guy. She had two lovers, oh allegedly. So she don't answer no questions about it. If you dare question her about it, she's going to kick you off the campaign and pull your press credentials. So you can't ask her about that. Now, if it's Trump, if it's uh, Ted Cruz, no. if it's Herman Cain and all the others, yes, you can question men about their past. You know what I'm saying? We hold men to a, a morality standard that if you cheat on your wife, if you cheat on your taxes, you cannot be president. They have a high standard for men. You can't spit on the ground. You can't have no crimes against you. You have to be damn near Jesus to be candidate for the president in America. But if you're a woman, no, 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 no. It's okay. You know, we're not going to question you about that. We can't question you about that because America's standards, American law says you shall not question a woman about her body count. No. <laughs> wow. I just read something that went across my news feed here. Apple News just reported that Ron DeSantis has just suspended his campaign for presidentship. Golly. I mean, that Donald Trump is freaking awesome, I guess. <laughs> Ron DeSantis just suspended his campaign, breaking news, and it says that he's going to endorse Trump also. Yeah! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, Nikki Haley, it's just you and Donald Trump now. And Tim Scott, the senator from South Carolina, he's endorsing yes! Trump. Uh, Viswami, your Indian counterpart, he's endorsing Trump. Yes! Ron DeSantis, He's endorsing Trump. And oh, who do you have? You have Chris Christie. 
Christie, and Chris Christie was on hot mic saying that you have no chance against Donald Trump. Who else do you have in your corner? Nikki Haley. You have Liz Cheney. <laughs> you have Mitt Romney. You got Bill Crystal. You have your Dick Cheney. Those are guys that are going to be endorsing you, the establishment. Come on, Nick Haley. It's not even, we didn't even do Super Tuesday yet. And Ron DeSantis already see the writing on the walls. He then he just bowed out gracefully and said he's going to give his endorsement to Trump. And I know it's probably, it's probably hard for him to say that, but he already see the writing on the walls. We even had to do the second state yet. Donald Trump have not done any debates against none of you guys. <laughs> and already he's winning the polls. He's sucking all the air out the room. You guys can't catch a break. And it's only you, Nikki Haley versus Donald Trump. Unbelievable. So, Nikki Haley, I don't know what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you was a former ambassador to the U.S. for Trump, and you had said that you will never run against Trump. If Trump was running, you will not run against him. You, you flip. You flip flop. But now, it's just you and him now. And we already know the writing on the wall. Even Chris Christie and everybody else see that you have no chance against Trump. And now that you had the sex scandal and you don't want to talk about it, if it didn't happen, say it never happened and keep it moving. But no, you want to shut down reporters because there's something there. But, Nikki Haley, good luck. Good luck to you. By chance, if you even won the nomination, if you even won the nomination, and and I think Biden is still going to win. If Nikki Haley becomes a nominee for the Republican, Biden's going to win by a landslide. Because guess what? Me, I'm a chauvinist. I'm a proud chauvinist. Oink, oink. I will never vote for a woman. I will never vote for a woman in presidentship. No, nope. I might do mayor. I might do senator. But for president, mm -mm, ain't going to happen. And I know a lot of guys, chauvinists like me, who are not going to vote for a woman for president. Anyway, good luck to you, Nikki Haley. I hope everything turned out well for you. Um, I hope this is a nice windfall. Write a book. Do your little tours around the country. Talk shit about Donald Trump. Get paid for it. Be a talking head, work for CNN or something. Just good luck to you. All right. So anyway, it was nice knowing you, Nikki Haley. <laughs> if you got any value out of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and you see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And Nikki Haley, get off my lawn. <laughs>